been chatting quite a bit about the all-new info to come out of Shadow of War recently. Just a few days ago, Johnny recounted his experience of fighting an honest-to-goodness Balrog of Morgoth. But if you're still itching for more info in the run-up to launch, here's an extended look at the region in which that battle took place, Gorgoroth. Situated at the heart of Mordor in the shadow of Mount Doom, Gorgoroth is a sprawling sandbox region with a lot going on. I'll point out a few bits and pieces along the way, but if you keep your eyes open, you'll spot a few more interesting details, like notice boards and golden statues just begging to be pulled down. However, we mostly just wanted you to sit back and take it all in for yourself, so keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle as Talion takes you on a tour of Gorgoroth via Karagor, Grog, and Drake. Enjoy! from the back of a Karagor in Shadow of Mordor could sometimes feel a little awkward or even ineffectual. So it's good to see the new polearm weapon apparently making that whole experience a lot more streamlined. <laughs> We've been promised a lot more diversity when it comes to the landscapes of Shadow of War. And given that Gorgoroth is a volcanic region where pretty much nothing grows given all the ash in the air, there are lots of caves and rock formations to explore, some of which can take you right into the heart of a settlement. <laughs> You were never short of guys to fight in Shadow of Mordor, but sometimes it was hard to find enemies worth your while, ones that were doing more than just shepherding slaves or warming themselves by the fire. Here you'll see there's a bit more diversity in what the enemies are actually doing. There's a broader range of behaviours on show, it seems, which makes sense given the Gorgoroth settlements are much more complex and more important than some far-flung encampment in Shadow of Mordor. What was that noise? One of my favourite things to do in Shadow of Mordor was to quietly find a group of orcs huddled around a fire and have it literally blow up in their faces. As you can see here, Shadow of War takes that idea and dials it up to 11. And 
And of course, having so much lava around is good for the economy, but not so good for workplace related injuries. Denizens of Gorgoroth just have a flair for the dramatic. I mean, why not have a hundred foot tall lava falls? I would. Also, Talion does not like being set on fire. There's a nice attention to detail seeing this guy's skin change from molten to almost ashy, just so you know when he really means business. you got a bit more out of this video than just the fact orcs will shout what was that noise in response to literally any kind of disturbance ever. Did you spot anything in particular that caught your eye? Let us know in the comments or check out one of our other Shadow of War videos, including ones where we talk about the Balrog boss battle, the new online mode, and of course, the introduction of microtransactions. Plenty of people very rightfully have an opinion on that. Thanks for watching. Bye!